So it's been a little bit since I've made a video. I think I made one a week and a half ago. I was making one every week. I finally got off graveyard shift and I'm starting my assistant manager training. So getting back to a normal sleep schedule. I've been up at like 3 a.m. every morning for 10, 15 years um, until starting working graveyard shifts Friday and Saturday night the gas station where I work. So now it's just 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. And that's training for two months. And then I'll be in anywhere from 10 a.m. in there until 10 p.m. Depending on when I start. So uh, I didn't make a video because of that. Because I'm back on a normal schedule for the first weekend. And we had this situation. Now this guy was not being rude or anything. Other than what the situation was when he got there. Um... I mean, you might consider it pretty rude what he was trying to do. Uh, he showed up pre pretty much. He showed up one graveyard shift after my swing shift at like 2 in the morning. And there was some other person there with him. He left the car at the pump. She left the key fob at the counter or something. And then another customer saw him. And he was all loaded like on some opiate pills or heroin. Um and took the key fob but no one like saw them take it like we just knew i guess it was set down there and then somebody took it so for three days this guy's car was at the pump and like for at the first day it was a sunday and so we just kind of like let it sit there all day we're like well this is weird you lost your key fob you know this graveyard shift guy just gets off and leaves he's like man whatever retardation is going on you just leave because there's always some it's not always some stupid overnight thing going on that's this type of stupid but there's usually just it's a 24-hour business you just leave and he gets back and the guy's still there and we're like what what's this guy doing here all day and then the next day rolls around we're like what what's this guy doing here all day it was Sunday and I guess the um, the manager, like we weren't doing anything at first, and the second day we're like, "Well, you got, you sure you can't tow it?" And he's like, "Nah, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta find the key fob mechanic tow truck company to come out to like access the key fob to put it in neutral because it's electric." It was like this whole set of things, and he was making all these phone calls. And meanwhile. So and then finally the manager goes, well, no, we we need to, we're gonna we're gonna have it towed. So they call the police. The police show up and he and they go, well, we can't actually tow it from the pump because <laughs> the pump is like some other part of the law rather than one of the parking spots. It's this weird little thing. So they said, but we can tag it right now and then in seventy two hours we can tow it. So he's just like sitting there and then they look at him. And they're like, oh, are you kicking on heroin? Are you scratching because your blood itches? What do you have in your car? And they take some heroin or opiate pills or something. Like they took some drugs from him and gave him a ticket, but because of COVID, the dr the jails are too full, so they wouldn't. They didn't take him to jail, and he's like not doing anything rude other than he's trying to drive all all messed up. Like, um, and so he sits there for like another day and a half. It was like almost four days that he was at our pump and we couldn't do anything about it. And he finally got the thing towed when the mechanic showed up and um, got him into the electrical part of his thing. And now this guy had actually show up before on a motorcycle uh, and fallen asleep on his motorcycle. And we're, we thought it was the weirdest thing but before, but he fell asleep and then woke up and drove off. And it was like, oh, okay, people are tired. They, they take naps at the gas station. But I'd never seen anybody fall asleep on a motorcycle before at the pump. I mean, it's just funny. So, and the guy's been through a few times. And, and it was always something different. Like one night his hands were freezing off and I gave him some latex gloves to put on. I didn't think anything about it then I thought he looked like he was maybe like needing to get sober or something <laughs> in general but I didn't think he was doing anything right then and then like this happened though I'm like wow I, I, I thought about calling some friends of mine who work at the local rehab to come over and be like dude this is the softest landing we've ever seen if you 
I mean, you got your drugs taken from you, and they left you in your car, and you've been living at a gas pump for three days. If you think that this isn't textbook unmanageability of your life situation, I don't know what is. But if you would like to get clean and sober, here's our phone number. We, we work at the rehab. You qualify, man. You qualify. It's that type of thing. Like you, I would. It would be awesome to see that guy actually make that decision right now. But he, they told him away. His mom had to come over <laughs> from a few cities away and bail him out. He, she shows up. We're just like, dude, why didn't you call her earlier? Like, what? You're trying to not embarrass yourself or something? Like, okay, whatever. So as he's leaving, you were. He was kind of like this. Hey, see you later, guy. Like it was so the most out of the ordinary thing that everybody just acted like it. Oh yeah, this is, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. Here, charge your phone and come in and buy chocolate. Just itching and eating chocolate. Like, dude, it's cool. I know a lot of people have stopped using heroin, but as he's leaving, our assistant manager goes, "Oh, bye. Yeah, we got our." <laughs> he's like, "Going bye. I'll miss you guys." Type of thing, like sort of being, you know, the levity of the moment. It was humorous, but then it was, at the same time, we are like, we're laughing because it was so out of the ordinary. He's like, good, we finally get our gas pump back, and the guy goes, oh, like, he, I don't know how to explain the look on his face, but he just left. He's like, well, I'll tuck my head, tuck my tail, keep my head down, and get out of here. He's gone, so, I don't know, maybe if I see him again, I'll be like, so, stuff is going better, like, we... Did you decide to become a, a rehab counselor yet? That's usually... <laughs> just kind of all like beating around the bush about, dude, this is... you got to stop doing whatever got you to the point of being stuck here at a gas pump for almost four days. Anyways, that's my story for uh, the week, the week and a half.